AFTV, Dan, um, good win for Arsenal, 3-1 yeah. to the Arsenal, especially when earlier on we saw that Tottenham result as we was walking to the game. Yeah. Um, but what it did, it meant that if we could get a win, you know what I mean, it, it, it put even more importance on it. So, big win for Arsenal today. Mm. Is Tottenham's title race over now? Is that title <laughs> race done? Tottenham, Tottenham done? It's mad, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I've heard a lot of Tottenham fans getting very excitable and very telling me, oh, we, we respect us, put stuff on us. Today it went wrong for him. What a mm. shame. Moving on to Arsenal. But you, you know um, what? Just, just, just as you jump onto Arsenal, what it does show... I mean, obviously Tottenham missing quite a few players today, mm. but what it does show today with Arsenal missing a lot of players today, mm. um, that they're still able to cope. Yeah, um, it was a, a side I expected to cope against. I must say that before, mm. but um, it does show that we have got players that can come in. I really like the front three, Rob. I said it the other night. I really have been calling out for this Trossard, Saka, Martinelli front three. Um, but it was a strange game tonight. It was just mm. a weird atmosphere around. It was a little bit flat in parts. Uh, in 30 minutes, they had three shots on our goal, Burnley. I never expected that. Mm. And um, listen, we were the better side. But 100% we were the better side. And I think we showed that overall over the 90 minutes. But um, there was glimpses today from some players that I really liked. Martinelli just always looks a threat at the moment going forward. It's good to see him getting back on it. And I got a big up Zinchenko today because I thought yeah, he was brilliant. really good for me. Yeah. You know, I was looking at man of the match performances and I thought he was one that really did come to light. Outstanding goal. Really good goal, you know. Mm. And when you see that from where I was, mm. it, it was it was a great goal. And then I saw the replay. I thought, actually, that was a really good effort. Mm. You know, really really good performance from him. And I think on the ball, he's starting to show again glimpses of last season. Because I think I've been a little bit disappointed from Zinchenko of late. And the mm. last couple of games, he come on the other night at Seville, and I thought, yeah, you're back to where you need to be. Mm. And I need to see that run of consistency performances now. Um, I must say, it was a lazy tackle from Vieira today. It was mm. lazy. I looked at it back and I thought, that's really the, poor, the, the, man. The problem is that once you've got your studs up like yeah. that, you're in trouble, aren't you? A big time. And and I knew straight away. I mean, it mm. was. I mean, he's not going to... He couldn't wait to give the red card, Michael Oliver, mm. by the way. I will say that. But it was lazy. It mm. really was from Fabio Vieira. Uh, luckily, it didn't cause too many problems because I know at 3-1, 83 minutes, I'm thinking there's still time there. So this could be, you know, big, mm. big, big uh, to last 10 minutes for Arsenal. But... I thought tonight was a was a pretty comfortable one. And it's really important now that we have that momentum going back into the international break because when we look at the performances against Newcastle and West Ham and the results, more importantly, that, that you don't want that to continue, not going into mm. an international break because then you've got to wait another couple before you can actually try and win the game again. So it was really important that we bounce back against Seville and, of course, today because I look at the Sheffield United performance and the Burnley performance here and everyone went, yeah, six points, six points. You've got to make sure it is six points, though. Yeah. And we've done that, you know. So a little bit disappointed still to go back and drop points at the likes of Chelsea and Newcastle because I remember speaking to Turkish on the last international break and said, I expect us to drop points, but I only really want to be dropping one of those games. So mm. I was quite frustrated that we uh, didn't pick up points against uh, Newcastle and obviously dropped them at Chelsea. But we're still in there. We're still at the, at the, you know, towards the top end of the league. And it was so, so important going to the international break. I really hope our players can actually get back to some fitness now because... It's hard, isn't it? You, you stop and you think, right, now you've got two weeks off. Some of them haven't. They've got to go mm. internationally now, flying around, playing football. I saw today Saka coming off and I was like, thankfully, because I didn't know quite how bad he was the other night. Um, but, you know, we, we, we do need players back. I know you said at the start about how good it is for players to come in. I appreciate that. And I think they did a good job tonight. But I need to see Odegaard back. I want to see Jesus back. I don't know how long Party and Timber are out for, but they need to come back ASAP. And there's rumours that they could be out for, for towards the new year now. Um, ben White, I don't know where he was today. Do we know where he was? Is he sick or ill? Could be an illness or something, but he was out. Yeah, so he's got mm. to come back but into again, this again, another well. example of how well this team is coping with injuries and mm. how well players are coming in and stepping up. Well, can I mention Tommy Yasu? Mm. Because, you know, he's come in today at right back. We've seen him play at left back. We've seen him in the early, earlier games against mm. Brentford playing at centre back. I think he's quite an underrated player for us. Mm. You know, he doesn't really get the mentions of some of the others and Jacob Kivior come on again today. But Tommy Yasu, for me, I think this season is starting to prove to be one of our most consistent players when I've mm. seen him play for Arsenal. I don't really see him put a, 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 a bad game in there. I see him really good aerially. I think he's really good one-on-one -on -one defended again today. He showed mm. why. And I think he's versatile, Rob. You know, he can play at any of those positions. And when he comes into this Arsenal side, I look at him as being one of the squad of, say, 15, 16 that we've got. That I look at and go, I don't actually mind when you come in, Tommy Yasu, mm. because Tommy has a good, consistent game. It's always a seven or an eight for me. It's never like, oh, Tommy's pulled off a, a two or a three here, absolute mm. stinker. I think that the sort of players that are really important for this squad. If you want to go and win a league title, we need more players like Tommy Yasu for me that are going to come in and provide consistent performances. 
places. So today was a really good one. We move on to the international break now and we've got to come back flying because, of course, Man City is still the ones we're going to be looking up at. Mm. It was a shame we couldn't get a few more goals today to try and catch them up goal difference-wise. But we're looking down at a few teams again now and it's looking good for the Arsenal at the moment, man.